or high. Phuket most likely comes from the distorted Malayan Tanyan sailing, literally a cape sailing. One of the southern provinces of the Kingdom of Thailand. Clockwise since the north. Provinces Tanga and the Krabba join to it. As Phuket is an also island of the same name, he is with an overland border. Phuket is located at the western coast of Thailand, in the Andaman Sea of the Indian Ocean. Phuket is in the lead in the list of the largest islands of Thailand. The island is connected to the mainland of the kingdom by three bridges. Earlier prosperity of Phuket having rich and bright history was based on extraction of tin and rubber. And as he was on one of the main tradeways between India and China, was constantly mentioned in ship magazines of the Portuguese, French, Dutch and English merchants. Today the province gains the main part of the income thanks to huge tourist popularity of the island as sea resort. According to the existing rules of the Thai Russian practical transcription, the name of the province, her capital, island and the mountain ridge of the same name in Russian registers as Phuket. It must be kept in mind that in Thai predicatal concordance are allocated especially. The letter H in the Royal Thai General System of a Transcription is used for aspiration designation. As in Russian predicatal concordance aren't allocated, real Thai pronunciation of this name is phonetic much closer to Russian of Puket. And the similar option is given as an alternative, the Dictionary of Own Names of Russian. Sometimes also the option of record of the name is Phuket, based that the first letter of the name is used traditionally in the Thai writing in transfer borrowed from Sanskrit meets and fell words and names instead of the concordant. Read as B and written down in a transcription into Russian as. This option of writing is the closest to Malayan. History. In the Middle Ages at Europeans the island was widely known as Tsong Salin or Chang Silin. From the distorted Malayan Tanyang Sailing a Cape Salin. This name in various variations meets on ancient cards. The roots it very possibly goes back to the book Guide to Geography by Claudius Ptolemaeus created by the Alexandria scientist in the second century of our era. They got in 1400 to Italy from Constantinople, her translation into Latin became the real revelation for Europeans. In particular, they learned that antique seamen, making a trip from Suvanapkam, the gold earth, on the Malayan peninsula, had to pass the Cape Chank -Silin. Phuket historically was the roadside station on the way between India and China where seamen did a stop. Originally the island was a part of the empire of Dvaravati strengthened on the Malakski Peninsula at the beginning of the first millennium. Later already is Miang Takwapatalang. In literal translation Talang, the country of Tin, he was a part of the empire Srivids Haya and kingdom Na Konsit 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 Konsit. The name Talang comes from ancient Malayan Talong that means a cape. The area Amka in a northern part of the island where his capital was located before still bears this name. Being in vassal dependence on the kingdom na concept 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 which, in turn, was a vassal of Atheia, Phuket was the capital of the principality which part twelve cities were. 
He had own coat of arms representing a dog, keeping popularity throughout the most part of the Middle Ages. In the period of the kingdom Sukut Cape Yucatay was in the union with the Principality of Tukwapa, the district of the present province Kanga which also had huge reserves of tin. Such as based a trade post in the period of Atea in the second half of the 16th century here. The northern and central regions of Phuket were under the power of the Thai king, and southern and western were transferred to the foreign concession created for extraction of tin. Since the beginning of the 17th century, besides Portuguese and Dutchess, British, and then, in the 1688 years, and the French developed rivalry for a possibility of conducting trade in tin with Phuket. In September, 1681 of the ships of the French East Indian Company arrived to the island and sailed with full holds of tin from here. And a year later or two the King Neri. 1656-1688 seeking to reduce all accruing influence of Dutchess and British, appointed the governor of the island of the member of the Parisian Society of Foreign Missions in Siam brother René Charbonneau, who remained at this position up to 1685. The same year the King Mary confirmed monopoly of France on Fouquet through the ambassador King Louis XIV, 1643-1715. Chevaliers of D. Choman. The former butler Shimona, Sire D. B. was given appointment to the post of the new governor of the island. However, soon the French were expelled from Atea as a result of the Siamese Revolution of the 1688 year, and the King Neri was killed. In April 1689, the general disfars occupied the island in attempt of restoration of the French influence on Phuket again. And though this operation was successful, soon he was forced to return to Puducherry in January-February, 1690 as at a French court his mission underwent sharp criticism and in general was recognized as failure. This rough period in the history of the island was replaced by the long calm broken almost century later together with attack in 1785 to Phuket of the Burmese troops. After falling of Atea in 1767 the interregnum to which the King Thaksin 1768-1782 who expelled aggressors and again united the country put an end was caused by the Burmese invasion. Burmans, nevertheless, were eager for an immediate revenge and were going to attack the most unprotected provinces of the kingdom. They equipped the fleet for attack on the southern provinces and capture of the population in the Burmese slavery. It caused the most memorable events in the history of Phuket. The captain of the British East Indian Company Francis Lake crossing the Andaman Sea sent the message that Burmans are on the way to the purpose. The troops which are brought together under command of two heroines, Tkang Chuing Shan, widows of the governor of the island Phuket and her sister Kun Muk, after a monthly siege forced Burmans to depart on March 13, 1785. Thanks to the heroic resistance organized by them, Tkang Chuing Chan and her sister covered the names with eternal glory. As a sign of deep appreciation, the King Ramai, 1782-1810, graciously granted Tkang Kui Chan the honorable title to coat keep Krasatri. As a rule, favored only to royalties with which she is known today. Her sister got the title to see Sant Khan.
In the 19th century the Chinese immigrants began to arrive for work on tin mines in such quantity that the ethnic structure of the population of the island became mainly Chinese, only coastal villages still remained populated Malayan fishermen. In Government of the King Rama V 1868-1910 Pukuk played a role of the administrative center of several Olavadadabadishik provinces and I bore a name of Montcon Pukat. Until in 1933, together with change of the form of government from absolute monarchy to a parliamentary system, I received the status of the certain province. Geography Phuket is the biggest island of Thailand located in the southern part of the kingdom in the Andaman Sea of the Indian Ocean. From the Isthmus of Krai he is separated by the passage Pakhra, which width in the bottleneck is about 410 meters. The island is extended from the north on the south almost on 50 kilometers with the greatest width up to 21 kilometers. The main territory of the island Phuket is occupied by the Niskagori up to 500 meters high surrounded in the south flat flat to sites, and in the north and the northeast, littorals with the extensive mangrove thickets making a basis of unique ecosystems. Hills and mountains of the island represent the southernmost tip of the mountain ridge of Phuket stretched along the isthmus of Kra more than on 200 kilometers. According to the latest researches, in Durna this continuation of much more extensive mountain system Tanasiram forming the main part of the Indomalayan mountain system which begins in spurs of Tibet and lies through the isthmus of Kra up to the Malay Peninsula. About 70% of the area of the island cover heights. On remain 30%. Generally in the center and in the south, lie low plains. Heights are divided into certain massive steep, to a half of their height, by cross passes. From west side slopes are usually more abrupt. In a northern part of the island certain massifs have flat decrease in heights in the western direction. As a rule, as the highest top of Phuket called the mountain make Kasipson, literally, 12 stems according to official figures rising above sea level by 529 meters. Nevertheless, this superiority is challenged by many sources, and figures from 482 to 515 meters above sea level are given as the maximum value of height. Most likely, Mount Kuanva which height presumably is 545 meters above sea level can apply for this rank. Her top is in 1700 meters to the southwest from the Kaku Falls. Flat territories of the island are busy with dense urban development and plantations of ahevia and coconut palms, and the sites of relic tropical forests taken under protection of the state are still widespread in mountainous areas of the island. Here, for example, the center of protection, development and distribution of wildlife of Kapfraki is located at under which protection there are 2333 hectares of the jungle. The main tops of this national park are Kokraki. 384 meters high Kobank. 397 meters high in Kokara. 441 meter high. The National Marine Park of Surinat created in 1981 on the northwest coast of Phuket. Preserves the territory more than 90 square kilometers. From them 68 square kilometers. 76 percent. Fall on the seawater area and 22 square kilometers. 24 percent. On an overland part of the park.
The beach is located in the territory of National Marine Park of Sirinat and in particular, the beach Nayang. Have huge value is the place of nesting of sea turtles. Coastal lowlands of a northern and northeast part of the island smoothly pass into surfaces of the Osushka occupied with mangroves. Often they are divided by quite wide tide channels reminding small estuary or the flooded valleys. The coast of the western and east coasts which are cut up by bays have other morphological lines. On the coast of its southeast part of the island on the narrow Misavi ledges dividing open bays it is possible to meet the narrow rocky bench located at the level of inflows. Their width doesn't exceed 10 meters, but on capes low and narrow rocky platforms can be issued in the sea for tens of meters. On the western coast of the island the coastline represents quite correct alternation of wide and open bays and misavi ledges. Bays can take root into the land on depth up to 5 kilometers whereas ledges have more modest sizes, but often proceed in the sea small islands. Misavi ledges and small islands about them are put by crystal breeds. In the depth of bays quite wide sandy beaches which are quite often limited to low coastal ledges are located. On coast often it is possible to see a rocky ledges with smooth convex surfaces are the large rounded blocks isolated from the rocky massif. These microforms of a relief with smooth rocky surfaces are located also above a coastal zone up to Niskagori slopes at the heights of 100 and more meters. Among nine rivers, such as Klong Bangjie, Klong Takin, Klong Karia, and Klong Bangren, there is no little considerable neighboring provinces, Henga, Andaman Sea, Windrows. The island Phuket and 32 small islands surrounding him is a part of the province. The islands located in the western part of the gulf are put by crystal breeds of granite structure, and the islands located in the depth of the gulf limestones. This circumstance causes wide circulation of the external tropical karst at times forming fantastic landscapes. The province Phuket remote on 863 kilometers to the south from Bangkok occupies the territory about 576 to at the same time the area of the island Phuket is about 543 km. Among others, the largest it is possible to call the island of Sire. Of 8.8 km, the island of Lan. Of 4.77 km, islands Roshino and Rochie. The area respectively, 3.06 km and 4.5 km Macra. Of 3.7 km and Nakie. Of 2.08 km. The majority of these islands are their vacationers lived, mainly because of regular visit who are the main source of earnings of local population. On them there are hotels, as a rule, be providing basic amenities and also development of tourist infrastructure begins. For example, it is considered to sulfur not only the second in area, but also the most inhabited island of the province, after Phuket. To the northwest from Phuket Simulanski Islands, are located to the southeast the archipelago Kiki. And the southern coast has several islands of coral origin. Two nearby islands, including islands Kiki and Tapa, which is known still as James Bond's Island from Phuket day trips are organized.
Excursions to islands of the Simolansky archipelago take from one to several days and are, as a rule, possible as a part of groups of scuba divers. Took it gained improbable popularity and popularity as the sea resort of world value first of all thanks to the magnificent beaches, rather wide, extended and covered very fine white sand. The most part of beaches is located on the western, southwest and southern coast of the island. One of the most popular tourist areas is the Patong Beach, which name is translated from Thai as the Banana Wood. The main shopping centers, boutiques and restaurants, entertainment centers, pleasure institutions and nightclubs of Phuket are located exactly here. While the area continues to develop promptly. As a result, most hotels is located in the depth of the island, sometimes at distance of several kilometers from the coast, and in the period of high and peak tourist seasons the beach is crowded with vacationers. Another, almost so visited beaches, are located to the south from Patong. Among them Karen. Kata. Khatno, and further on the south, the Neheng Beach. To the north from Pathong, the Kamala Beaches, Surin, Wai Bangka, Nayan, and some other are located. As a rule, they are built less up, less shama also are populous than Pathong. The travelers of advanced age and people seeking for a quieter and measured rest give them preference of family with children. Some of beaches of a northern part of Phuket, in particular, the beach Nayang, are located in the territory of National Marine Park of Sirinat. The climate of Phuket, in spite of the fact that the island is in the equatorial latitudes, has subequatorial character, that is, there is a clear split of year into two seasons. Dry and damp. This fact is caused by tropical monsoons in which prevails equatorial in the summer. The direction of wind. And in the winter tropical air. The dry season falls on the period from November to April, and damp lasts from May to October. Temperature is almost invariable during the whole year. In the period of monsoons long rainfall of high and average intensity is characteristic. The continuous overcast prevails. The minimum duration of sunshine falls on July and September. At this time days when the rain cannot stop the most part of day are frequent. During the dry period the probability of rains is extremely low, but they aren't excluded. At this time rainfall can be characterized as short storm. Mainly prevail in the morning. Very short, of several minutes before half an hour. Powerful rains are replaced by a bright sun. The overcast weaker is absent. From June to August on the majority of beaches of the western and southwest coasts of Phuket there are strong undercurrents that this them extremely unsafe for bathing and occupations by scuba diving. Existence of a red flag on the beach means that bathing is connected with risk for life, therefore it is as an alternative more reasonable to use the pool in the territory of hotel. The provincial administration of Phuket is a local government and office of local administration of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, representative office of the central government. It is headed by the governor of Phuket.
At the same level of the power there is also a municipality of the city of Phuket which sphere of influence is limited to the territory of the city. Economy Steam dry Kinis. 1953 Similar vessels conducted extraction of ore in coastal waters of Phuket at the beginning of the last century. Since 16th century extraction of tin where the Chinese immigrants were mainly busy became the basis of the economy of the island. The industry had an enormous impact on all spheres of life of Phuket, even on formation of his present relief and outlines of the coast. On the land development of fields was conducted in the open way therefore the landscape was literally covered in hundreds of dumps, and in coastal waters, since 1907, drags were used that led to sharp deepening of a bottom and change of the coastline. With the advent of stainless steels tin began to lose, and with discovery of synthetic materials lost the value as the material used for prevention of corrosion of metals at all. Besides, all reserves on the island were almost completely exhausted. As a result, development became unprofitable and the last mine on Phuket was closed in 1992. in 1903, with the advent of the first plantations of a heavier Brazilian. The economy of the island received a new push in the development. Today under them more than 30% of the territory of Phuket and Thailand, as of 2010 are allocated, I came out on top in the world on production of natural rubber. Cultivation of extensive plantations caused a new wave of immigration which was designed to fill the huge need for human resources. Most of workers of this sphere is made today by Malayan Muslims. Today the welfare of Phuket is based on two pillars, production of rubber and tourism. As of 2011, the island was visited by 5,895,997 foreign and 2,375,725 Thai tourists. In comparison with 2010, tourist flow at the same time increased by 78.16%. An essential role in it is played by the Russian tourists whose number in Thailand since 2009 annually increases on average by 35-40%. Begun in the mid-70s with magnificent sandy beaches of the western coast, development of the tourist industry led to formation of such large resort areas as Patong. Karen and Kata. By 2004, 579 hotels of a different class which number was reduced after a destructive tsunami on December 26, 2004 to 528 worked here. According to plans of the Ministry of Tourism and Sport of Thailand, during 2006-2015 the annual growth of hotel fund was on average predicted at the level of 4%. By March 2011 the number of rooms reached 42498 and has to increase by 2015 by 5080 units. Now, according to the TripAdvisor company, 614 hotels work at the island. In 2013, Thailand was called by the Forbes magazine among 10 best countries for accommodation on pension. By some estimates today up to, foreigners constantly live on Phuket. Tourism Prior to the beginning of the period of long recession in metallurgical industry in 1972, tourism had no value for economy of the island. And in spite of the fact that until recently Phuket brought in a nationwide money box much more than many other provinces, it remained some kind of unknown southern earth for the whole world. Roads with a hard coating in the south of Thailand were almost not, and dirt roads in the period of rain simply became impassable. 
cases of attack of robbers were frequent. The marine transport remained the only rather well-tried remedy of the message. In the mid-60s, thanks to implementation of the main program of road construction and opening on July 7, 1967 of Saracen Bridge, the regular overland message with the island began. The end of the 1960th and the beginning of the 1970th years were noted by construction of a number of the hotels which became pioneers in development of tourism in this region. In 1973 tourist charge of Thailand was taken for development of the Master Plan of Development of Tourism on Phuket which, finally, came to the end with opening of local office of this organization in 1977. Already to the middle of the 1970th years the Newsweek magazine listed Phuket among places where travelers will be able to find something novel and special. Today the welfare of Phuket is based on two pillars, production of rubber and tourism. Following the results of 2011, the island was visited by 5,895,997 foreign and 2,375,725 Thai tourists. Besides, in comparison with 2010, tourist flow increased by 78.16%. Growth of popularity of the island as vacation spots compelled in 2012 the NLC Airports of Thailand Company to invest 185.7 million US dollars in expansion of the International Airport of Phuket. In 2015, upon termination of reconstruction, the served annual passenger traffic will increase from 6.5 up to 12.5 million people. Nowadays, Phuket endows the period of an intensive urbanization. Here, hotels continue to be under construction actively. Nevertheless, the deficiency of hotel places is felt. Especially demanded are hotels and hotel resorts of the highest level. Four and five stars. Hotel results of the research of preferences of foreign tourists conducted by the Ministry of Tourism and Sport of Thailand in 2011 about. By 2015 the number of rooms has to grow by 50-80 from present 42498. Besides beach vacation, tourists are attracted on the island by cultural and historical sites, a possibility of commission of inexpensive purchases, the rich underwater world of the Andaman Sea, the world-class golf course and also the sex tourism which is under the official ban. On the island there are several museums. National Museum Talanga Museum Thai Hua. Museum of Mining Museum of Seashells Practically at the same time, after Patia were in 1975 there began the work the Thailand's first professional center of scuba diving with an aqualine, on Phuket fans of this sport appeared. The island became bait for expeditions on the Tsimilanski Islands which entered the ratings of the best places of immersions in the world according to versions of many authoritative editions and also other islands of the Andaman Sea. Exact statistics of visits of Phuket by fans of scuba diving with an aqualing is absent, but according to some information Thailand annually visits more than one and a half million scuba divers. For comparison, the island of Tao accepts every year up to card scuba divers. In 1989 on the project of the Thai golf architect Sakiti Klimbizaya. On Phuket the first golf field, Phuket Country Club, is built. 
the territory underwent full recultivation, pits were turned into lakes, and dumps into green hills. The terrifying anthropogenic landscape created owing to extraction of tin ore and centuries the disfiguring island, addressed in his unique and indisputable advantage. Success of this project caused rapid growth of number of golf fields on Phuket, many of which conform to the highest international standards and become hosts of prestigious world tournaments. Today golf annually attracts hundreds of thousands of players to Phuket. By estimates of some experts in 2013 the kingdom will visit golfers who will bring to the country income approximately in $3.7 billion. At the remaining growth rates, in 2015, 2016 Thailand will come out on top in the world by the number of golf tourists, having outstripped Spain in this rating. In 2008 on Phuket Orthodox Parish was registered, and in 2011 the Orthodox Church in honor of the Holy Trinity near which the building of the country's first Orthodox spiritual school was placed is constructed. Population As of December 31, 2012, 390,905 people lived in the province Phuket. These data consider only officially registered persons who are constantly living in the province. However, for the period of a high and peak season, during the period from November to April, the population of the province significantly increases at the expense of seasonal workers, coming on earnings both from other provinces of Thailand and from neighboring countries. It is considered that about 20% of residents of Phuket are foreigners, therefore it is necessary to add two calculations from 35000 to tourists who are visiting the island monthly, constantly living here businessmen, pensioners and also the owners of the real estate remaining on the island the most part of year. Thus, the actual population of the province can exceed official data considerably. As well as the quantitative, ethnic structure of the population of the province is non-uniform and changeable. Nevertheless, it is possible to allocate several main groups among which Thais, Chinese, Malayans and Yaraklava, Burmans, Lao, Khmers, Europeans and Americans. Representatives of nationality in Yaraklava are Chola. Differently, Si Roma, as called them in Thailand were the first settlers on the island, most likely. They traditionally led a nomadic life, traveling from the island to the island and being engaged in fishery and production of other natural resources in east part of the Indian Ocean. During the period from May to November, during a season of monsoons, Chola avoided stay in the sea and built lodgings in one of the chosen bays. As soon as resources were exhausted, the group, as a rule, numbering several big families, left the village and moved to other place, giving to the nature the chance to have a rest and be restored. The traditional beliefs of C. Roma, which are very closely connected with the elements of various forms of animism. Tola have a set of subgroups, but all of them with advantage emphasize the ethnic origin and, despite very considerable Thai cultural influence, continue to adhere to the traditions, customs, beliefs and language. That Chalong is the most esteemed from three tens Buddhist temples of the island Phuket. Thais are the most numerous ethnic group of the province which was gradually occupying Phuket and nearby islands since 16th century. However, this process became especially noticeable at the end of the last century, together with the beginning of economic blossoming of the province. The vast majority of Thais, up to 94.6%, professes the Theravada Buddhism. The second largest ethnic group today making nearly 35% of the population of the province, Chinese.
Her majority is made by descendants of the natives of the Chinese province of Fujian who moved to Phuket in the middle of the 18th century for work on tin mines. Gradually, having assimilated to the Thai culture and having been engaged in commerce, they created a basis of a state of negotiators from the category of cheap labor and today control an overwhelming part of retail and wholesale trade. Many of former owners of mines nowadays have the prospering travel business, manage hotel chains, golf clubs and extensive developer projects. Malayans, the Austronesiski Muslim people, also make a considerable part of the population of Phuket. Being natives of Indonesia and Malaysia, they brought with themselves specific culture which prevalence is especially noticeable in the south of Thailand, including on Phuket, in areas of their compact accommodation. Villages of Malayans are located around the Surin Beach in the Tambina Koku and in some other parts of the province. Their major activity on Phuket is rice growing and cultivation of plantations of a heavier. By some estimates on Phuket about 30000 foreigners from the different countries of the world can constantly live. Especially there is a lot of Europeans here. British, French, Russians, Germans, Italians, Swedes. But there are also residents of the USA, Australia and other states enough. Most often they live on legal grounds, on 30 or 90 day tourist visas, making periodic departures to neighboring states, and remain in the kingdom throughout winter months. Since the beginning of the 1998 years in Thailand works hard foreigners from the countries of Southeast Asia, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia and, to a lesser extent, Vietnam. Most of them is engaged at low-wage subsidiary jobs, in construction, fishing industry, in agriculture, as hotel staff. In spite of the fact that the government of Thailand allocates employment quotas for foreign labor, overwhelming number of Burmans, Laotians and Khmers is in the country illegally. At the same time many of them live in the country for many years and in different degree no Thai. The neighborhood with the Muslim countries considerably affects the religious structure of the population of Phuket. According to official figures, 73% of inhabitants of the island profess the Buddhism and 25% Islam. The Catholic Christian Church is presented by monastic congregation of the sacred stigmat. On December 18, 2011 opening of Orthodox Church of the Holy Life-Giving Trinity on Phuket. The Moscow Patriarchy of Russian Orthodox Church and keep Krasatri's Tambina and Amkov calling took place. The main gate of the province is his international airport located in a northern part of the island in 32 kilometers from the downtown Phuket. Regular and charter flights in the period of high and peak seasons make such Russian airlines as Aeroflot, Moscow, Sheremetyevo Airport, the I fly. Moscow Vnukovo Airport. Nordwind Airlines. Irkutsk Kemerovo, Kabarovsk, Krasnoyarsk, Mineralny Vody, Novosibirsk Street. Petersburg Vladivostok, Yekaterinburg. S Airlines. Irkutsk Kabarovsk, Novosibirsk, Vladivostok. Uter. Kazan, Rostovondon, Samara, Yufa, Tumen, Yekaterinburg. And others here. From the most remote areas of the island it is possible to reach the airport no more than for an hour. At the peak capacity from 1900 to 2100 passengers an hour, today the airport serves planes of 38 airlines transporting about 6.5 million people. 
in the 2012 year the NL Airports of Thailand Company started reconstruction of the airport, having invested in her 185.7 million US dollars. In 2015 the served annual passenger traffic will increase up to 12.5 million people besides, the new international terminal will be added. With the island there is no railway communication, the next station is in the province of Suratani. From where to Phuket it is possible to reach by regular bus flight. Till 1967 Phuket connected only the marine transport with the mainland of the country. First bridge which opened the overland message was called in honor of the Prime Minister of Thailand, Pkha Sarasen acting then. At the total length of 660 meters, nearly a half of its length, 300 meters, fell on a dam which, in total with the low height of flights, did the passage pack for closed for navigation. This stream of vehicles increasing from year to year caused the necessity of construction of Tkip Krasakrid Bridge. Put into operation at a turn of the millennia. The movement on them is carried out in the southern direction. On August 1, 2011, Sea Sun Con Bridge is put into operation on which the movement is organized in the northern direction. Saracen Bridge is nowadays closed for the movement of vehicles, after reconstruction it became pedestrian. The central part of the bridge was raised on 5 meters that made again the passage pack for navigable, on both of his ends observation decks in the form of rotundas are arranged. The only type of public transport on Phuket is to a Songki. Due to the big passenger traffic on the island, they are under construction on the basis of cause of bigger loading capacity than similar vehicles in other regions of Thailand and remind themselves buses rather. Most often they can be met on the routes conducting to beaches. Within the capital of the province regular city bus routes are organized. Traditional auto rickshaws, differently, tuk-tuki, are replaced with small vans, generally red color here, is more rare, yellow and green. The prices of the automobile taxi and a tuk-tuk are comparable, and about a sonkia is much cheaper. Journey between settlements within the province is carried out, as a rule, on the fixed tariffs. Taxi with counters are very rare. Tsunami. On December 26, 2004, Phuket and the neighboring areas of the Thai western coast extremely suffered from blow of the tsunami caused by an earthquake at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Waves destroyed several densely populated areas, about 1400 people in the country, and tens of thousands across all Asia died. At least 250 people died in Phuket, including foreign tourists. Practically all main beaches of the western coast, especially Kamala, the Patong Beach, Karen and Kota, sustained big damage. Also hotels on the southern beaches of the island suffered. By February 2005 the bulk of hotels was restored, and during 2005 life of Phuket slowly entered again the normal course. In December 2006, Thailand started 22 buoys of a system of tracking a tsunami which were received from the USA. These buoys became a part of a national system of tracking the huge waves caused by earthquakes at an ocean floor. They are in 10 hundred kilometers from the coast, between Thailand and Sri Lanka, their behavior is traced from satellites of the USA. Other incidents On September 18, 2007 at the airport of the island the McDonnell Douglas MD-82 plane crash landed because of bad weather conditions. Took out the plane from a runway and it crashed into the hill. Or so far. Write comments. 
read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.